everything you need to know about products and services that can improve your life. This is Experts on Call on CL 650. And welcome back to the show. This is Strata Life on CL650. We have our guests in place uh, from Key Pacific Property Management, Drew Grout, David Shepard from CanStar Restoration. And the next line of questions go to Gordon Lai. He's the uh, client executive and vice president of CMW Insurance. And your insurance that you deal with is with the Strata Corporation and the building, not individual units. Yes. Okay, all right. Um, the first question says, I know our insurance has a deductible. How does that work in an earthquake. Now, a lot of people think about this because we were all hearing we could have the big one. What, what, what happens there? So first thing I would say is that the deductible clearly is a deductible, not a coinsurance. So what, what we get, so the number one air people think is that if they have a $10 million strata and, mm-hmm. and they go, and I go, it's a 10% deductible. They go, okay, that's great. I usually fall up and say it's 10% deductible. That means it's a million dollars. That's ten percent of ten millions, one million dollars, mm-hmm. and you have to the strata must pay the one million dollar first. And the reason I say that uh, there's a huge percentage of population thinks that it's ten percent of the loss. So in other words, if there's hundred thousand dollars of damage, they just have to pay ten percent of it. Oh. And so I'm clearly telling people that's not the case. It's a very it's a very great question. It's very important because if an earthquake occurs, the biggest challenge for Strata Corporation is probably going to come up with that deductible amount. How that usually work? Correct me if I'm wrong, Drew. It's going to be a special assessment. More than likely. That's going to be set back to all the unit owners to pay their, based on the unit entitlement what their portion is. And from a restoration company's point of view, from my understanding is that likely in a large loss like that, like if it's a million dollar deductible, that before any restoration company is willing to start work, they're going to probably say, can you provide this $1 million in deductible versus on a regular claim these days, most restoration companies will do the restoration work and then build the strata or the unit owner say, look, you know, there's $5,000 Yeah, because you're mentioning it's for water, maybe $5,000. Well, you yes. can come up with that. But a million bucks, a different story. Different story. So the consensus when we talk to contractors, restoration companies, the biggest challenge is going to be, I doubt any contractors willing to start work when you look at those large numbers to say, we'll do the work and we'll bill you the million or $2 million later and hopefully we collect it. The strata corporations usually don't, have enough money to contingency mm-hmm. and most unit owners likelihood is not going to have enough for the portion when we look at statistically on what that deductible what amount each unit approximately in the range the range is somewhere between 20 to fifty thousand dollars would be there per unit per unit this and that will depend on the you know the size where you live, of the unit size unit yeah. so we look at basically we'll call that insurance value per unit and have an estimate of it so for most people, they're probably not going to have that money. And if they don't, and, and, or even if 10% don't in a strata, then the strata corporation is going to run into this problem is that how are they going to initiate the repairs without all the funds? Are they going to front it for the people that don't have the money and try to collect it later? Or are they just asking? Do they have the money to front? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, and that's the other Do they even have the money yeah, to front? Yeah. And, you know, for people that think, you know, well, I own property, maybe uh, the bank will lend me. I, I don't know. Like, you know, that would be a good question. If I have insurance as a as a unit owner, would there be earthquake insurance maybe in my policy that would help cover that, do you think? If you have your own personal insurance in a strata, most, if not all, will provide some form of coverage. I think I would say traditionally you would probably get about $25,000 readily available out there that would provide that towards your deductible. Mm-hmm. So that's not earthquake coverage. That's deductible earthquake chargeback. Chargeback up yeah. to 25000 yeah. The chargeback for that portion gets charged back. And you could get higher limits if that's what you need. And so our advice is for most people is when you renew or get your new insurance, have a copy of the Strat insurance, bring that to your agent and say, look, you know, this is what the content limits I need. But on top of that, there's these deductibles I have on here, and I like them to be covered from water damage that might coming from my unit that I get charged back on, but also like earthquake, where if I get charged back, I need that covered. But you might have it, Gordon, and Drew doesn't. And if not, if there's not enough Gordons in the building, yes. then you're not getting the work done, is what you're saying. Likely not. Mm-hmm. And we're not going to really like Drew 
<laughs> <laughs> well, that's the problem with assessments. Uh, you know, in, 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 if not every if everybody doesn't pay, then you may not still have the money to do with well, the work. This comes into my next question: says we're worried about damages that might occur from a leak. It could be anything, a leak or a similar problem. Can owners or tenants be required to have owner or tenant insurance policy? Because in the province of British Columbia, if you drive a car. You're required to have a minimum number um, amount of insurance from ICBC. Yeah. Wouldn't it make sense to put in the Strata Act that you have to have some kind of insurance? So when there's a major loss or an earthquake, that yeah, uh, is that is that possible? Well, uh, I'm not sure how far the government can go with putting it in the act, but it isn't in the act, and the Strata Corporation can't, through their bylaws, make enforce it enforce it. No, they can't. They can't make a bylaw requiring you to do that. Funny enough. Um, I'm surprised the mortgage companies. Yeah, I was just going to yes. say that they can say, "Well, le we'll lend you money if you have the property protected." Now, and here's a and here's people a perfect, get it. Here's a perfect example. I I lease a car, right? And and a Volkswagen credit makes me send a letter every year saying I have this certain amount of coverage. So couldn't you do something like that with Stratus? I, I think probably from that point of view is that they look at they're lending them the money to own the unit, mm -hmm. not for the, their content, which is the content insurance. What what the bank, um, I guess, haven't figured out or, or is in the process of figuring out is that, that those deductibles are much larger than your standard deductibles. So like when you lease your car, they'll say on there, usually on a lease agreement, you need to have insurance. Minimum the, amount. Yeah. Minimum, and a maximum deductible mm -hmm. can be this mm -hmm. amount. If they don't, I mean, I guess, I guess you could insure the car and take the biggest deductible they offer. It could be a 20000 deductible. Right. And at the end, you know, Zach could say, well, you know, I'm not paying the deductible of twenty grand, so you take the car back. Out, yeah. well, you take the car back and uh, you can uh, take action against me. The, too bad. The, the thing with the house is I buy my house, get my mortgage, I insure it, I prove it to the bank, they give me the money. Next year, I don't renew my insurance. The, the mortgage company doesn't know. Um, well, the banks are catching on to that, though. I think yeah, with, with, to all get smarter with all nations. So we see more of those requests as the, say, strata units come up for renewal. We'll get a thing saying, you know, the insurance expiring for this unit owner that we got a proof of insurance on. Can you confirm or send me something? And, and there's different yeah. forms how they ask. So you think we're, it's moving that way through it the is, banks? It is moving that way. And it's probably because the banks want to sell you insurance because they're in the insurance game now. Well, Remember they weren't allowed to be yeah. selling insurance? Now they can? Probably. I think, too, with some of these large losses because of the big fire and things like that, uh, um, they, they've got mortgages on all these homes and then mm -hmm. they find out that people don't have insurance. They're going, well, I, that was a condition of the mortgage. How come you don't have it? Mm -hmm. I and, can see this change over time where, um, you know, the risk management of the financial institutions, they're looking after that, you know, the stability of it, right? And I could yeah. see that over time that maybe personal insurance will be required um, and... Be a good thing. Coverage. Be a good thing. I yeah, think that we is. could do a whole show on that. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a tangled web. All right. Yeah. The next question is, we just did a beautiful renovation on our lobby and upgraded our fire panel. How is our insurance affected? Um, in that case, I was in, in general, if we get calls with that, our, our you know, comment is that you don't really need to do much to the policy. Um, because the original panel, if there was a loss, I'm assuming this is an older strata, it's an older panel. Now they've upgraded to a current one. Um, you know, in a loss, if prior to upgrade, if there was a loss, um, our policy would provide them with full replacement cost. So they would get an upgraded, like, up-to-date panel. Um, and these amounts are very small compared to the size of strata. So if it's like a huge upgrade where someone does call and say, you know, we, we renovated the whole hallway, we added some stuff, say we, we put in um, lockers in the basement with permits and everything, what should we do? The answer really, go back to your um, appraisal company and tell them with, let them know about these upgrades. They will adjust the replacement the total replacement value on the strata, and then we would then amend the policy to reflect that. So it's always good to have that communication back and forth. I think it's always good to check if you're not sure. Well, uh, insurance companies, um, like Gordon's, um, are often saying what upgrades have been happen happened since last renewal. And that would be a perfect example. This happened. And I think what, what they would look for is to see what's happened with the appraisal if it reflects those sorts of, of, of capital upgrades. And there's where the impact would be on the insurance because you, your value may be you know, $100,000 more and you're going to pay for $100,000 more insurance. 
All right, we're going to skip the next question because we kind of covered it. It's about what are the different kinds of owners and tenants insurance. We talked about that. Our strata council members of my strata and I sit on some subcommittees. How am I protected under strata insurance policies? The insurance policy um, provides the area coverage is under the directors and officers coverage, which for this individual is really what they need. Um, interestingly, just so you know, under the strata property act, that's not a coverage that's required. It's mm. just recommended. Now, how think, many stratas have that, do you think? I would say probably majority of stratas. The ones that don't could be like a duplex or fourplex where they, it's just so small that they decided not to buy such coverage. Yeah, I think it. I, I can't recall seeing any strata in policies that didn't have some level of directors and officers yeah. coverage. I, I would They'd say be silly not to. And is it part of the standard package you put forward now? It is the standard package that CMW have done from day one. Mm-hmm. But if I go back five, six years or 10 years, I would say, you know, other insurance brokers wouldn't know about it. So you wouldn't see this coverage. Mm. But as, as we evolve in time, I, it's rare, very, very rare that I, that I don't see at least a directors and officers. I would say it's pretty mainstream right now. That so this you, person you on a subcommittee that. is covered? Yeah. Okay. In the definition of the, the directors and officers under our policies, mm-hmm. all subcommittee members would be covered. All right. We'll do another quick one here. I know Astratus Insurance has deductibles. Under what circumstances would I be responsible for some of all of the deductibles? How can I protect myself? So I guess with the building, can you have insurance to cover the deductible? Yes, yeah, you can do that, and that's through before. that deductible assessment portion of your personal insurance. Mm-hmm. So, and I think that's the big thing. I think most people should understand is that when people say to me, "I don't need, I don't have that much content. I just moved out on my own," you know, and mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm kind of poor. I've got a futon and a TV, <laughs> as you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. It's mm-hmm. the, it, you know what? I guess if you lost a futon, you could live sleep on the floor, not very comfortably. <laughs> but the thing is that deductible success to you, you won't even, you couldn't even sell your futon to recover that five, ten thousand, or or in a case could be a larger. So, so, so the answer is that you you may be responsible if assuming there was a strata claim, if the incident that, you know, you're responsible for the incident that gave rise to that claim. Sure. Simple example, turned on my dishwasher, went to a movie, Mm -hmm. hose popped off. Well, it wouldn't happen if I didn't turn on my dishwasher. I'm responsible. It's my dishwasher. I turned it on. It leaked. It was an accident. But, you know, the strata is going to say, well, you're responsible. And and, and that sort of thing's been held up in the courts. They'll be charged back the deductible and the insurance that the person has will pay for it, usually. All right. I tell you what, we're going to take a quick break on Strata Life. And when we come back, we're going to pick up the, the few questions from our mailbag that we uh, missed. Uh, we have David Shepard here from Canstar Restorations. Gordon Lai has been talking about insurance from CMW Insurance. And Drew Grout is my co-amigo every time. He's here. You're, you're the constant. <laughs> on the show other than constant myself. pain yeah <laughs> you said it not me but we'll pick it up next on cl 650 this is experts on call on cl 650